One of the easiest and most effective slow motion subjects is something splashing into water. And when you're at home, it's quite tempting to try it in a sink or a bucket of water, but it never looks that natural. So if you're ever passing by a stream or a river or a lake, it can be worth setting up a couple of shots to see how it looks. So all I'm gonna do is simply throw a little stone into water and film it in slow motion. So I found a nice comfortable spot next to the bank. I want the water to pretty much fill the entire view. And again, this is why this would be quite a challenge to do at home, unless you've got an enormous bath or swimming pool at your disposal. So I'm gonna set the camera into slow motion. A lot of phone apps have that in the more section if you can't find it. And when you do go into slow motion, you may find that your camera is filming a reduced field of view. Often it's cropped a little bit. But I'm going to aim for a spot that's marked by this uh, green reed that's almost pointing at where I'm going to try and throw the stone. Now, this isn't a limited time frame video. This isn't something like a boomerang where you need to film it quickly and get it over and done with. Your timing doesn't have to be perfect at this point. So I'm just going to rest the phone against my knee to keep it nice and steady. Start recording, so we're rolling, and then I'm going to aim the stone for that reed. And I'm really after the ripples afterwards. Here we go. That was a direct hit and it's important to keep recording afterwards because we want those ripples, all of those nice concentric rings. So reviewing the slow motion footage back, you can see how this reed that I was talking about is pointing to the middle of the frame. And that's important because that is where the splash is going to be. Now, when you're playing back slow motion, there's always a bit of a pause before the action takes place. But hopefully the stone will fly in and we will see the splash right in the middle of the frame which means whether I crop that into a square or a mild rectangle, I know that the action is going to be there because I kept it in the middle of the frame.